Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is really early in the morning and I'm just gonna get ready for work. I'm having some coffee. The house is really quiet. I thought I would do a little get ready with me. So, I don't know, I'm gonna use some new to me products, some old to me products. And I'm just gonna get ready for work. So anyways, let's just jump into it. <laughs> First thing I'm going to use is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I have not used this in quite some time. If I can get it out of the tube. Um, it's early, sorry guys. I might say um a few times. So yeah, I have not used this primer in such a long time. I remember when it first came out, everyone was talking about it. It is a really nice primer. I put way too much out on my hand. I haven't had enough coffee yet, guys. I'm not a morning person. So I'm just gonna rub this in all over. It really creates a nice, beautiful canvas for your makeup. It is a really nice primer. For foundation, I'll be using the Huda Beauty. I have mine in Latte. I loved this when it first came out. I did, I wore it nonstop. I don't have very much left in here, so I'm trying to use it up. I've just, you know, other ones come out and you stop using ones you used to like. So I'm gonna use it, because I haven't used it in a while. And I think it looks beautiful. I'm starting to lose my summer tan. So a lot of my foundations that I bought during the summer, I'm starting to have to mix with lighter shades. Because I don't want to go and buy any new stuff right now. I just don't. So to cut time on this, I'm going to go finish pouncing my foundation all into my face. And I'll be right back with a fresh face. Alright, foundation is done. Now to conceal, I'm going to go in with Tarte Shape Tape. I have mine in the shade Light Neutral. This is seriously one of the best concealers ever. I need a little mirror though. Hang on while I pop open a little mirror cause, well, I just need a mirror. And I'm having problems. Okay, we got that figured out. Again, Tarte Shape Tape under the eyes. down the center of the face a little bit right there so you can't look like a warrior you know warrior face <laughs> sorry guys it is really early now we're gonna get rid of the warrior and blend this all in and I put it on my eyelids too because that kind of primes and preps my eye for shadow. And then I get to skip that step of adding that onto my face or my eye. So I'm going to finish pouncing this in and I'll be back looking a little more normal. Now to set all that, I'm going to go in with Laura Mercier setting powder. I love this stuff. It works beautifully. And I'm just gonna pounce it everywhere. Concentrating it under the eyes to begin to set that concealer. And the other eye. Woo! 
That was a little much. Let's bring that all down. So I'm still trying to debate on what palette I want to use. I want to do kind of like, I think I want to do a nice fall look. Yes, Halloween's just around the corner and I have been digging all the beautiful colors outside. The trees are all turning and yeah. I want to be in the spirit for fall. So I think I might use the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. But not yet. Anyways, first I would like to go in with this new face palette by NARS. It is the Orgasm Infatuation Cheek Palette. This outer packaging is stunning. There's like little spikes on it. Oh my god. And then it says NARS. I really want to get the big cheek palette. You get, I do believe it's Laguna Beach, the bron Laguna, the bronzing powder, Orgasm, and the new Orgasm highlight. So I'm going to go in. I need my brush. Excuse me guys. I had to grab my brush. That's not the brush I want. This is the brush I want. I don't, I don't even know what brush this is. I've had it for so long. I just love it to bronze. So I'm going to go in with Laguna. Get some of that on my brush. And I'm just going to round up the skin a bit. I really, really like this bronzer. I think it looks beautiful. It's not too orangey. It's just a really pretty color. I quite enjoy it. And I want to, for my nose, I'm still just going to use this big fluffy brush. I'm going to squish it together and then I'm just going to run it down the sides of my nose. Try not to hold the mirror up so you can see. And then I also like to do the little V-tip here. Kind of blend that down. And there's a super quick bronzy contour job for y'all. Uh, the blush. Sure, what the hell, we're gonna go in with this blush, the orgasm blush. I already know I love it. I have it in a single. So I love having these in a palette now, especially to travel with. I won't have to have, bring all the little singles I have with them. It's a pretty, pretty color. Kind of gives a nice glow to the cheeks as well as a nice flush of color. All right, enough rambling with this. Love that packaging. I have a feeling that this video might be really long. So for that, I am sorry. Um, now I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows. For that, I'm using the Kat Von D Signature Brow Pencil. 
And I'm going to hop off camera to do this because it's going to take a while to get them the way I want them. All right. My brows are as good as they're going to get. So now for the fun part. I'm going to go. I did decide to use the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. This palette just screams fall to me. I mean, these colors are stunning. So... I don't want anything too crazy because I'm going to work, but I do want to play with it. So I think the first shade I'm going to jump in with, I'm going to use Tom Ford number 13 brush, and I'm going to go in with this one here called Horizon. And I'm just going to start putting that into my crease as soon as I peel I love that peel that off okay anyways in with horizon I'm going to use this as a transition and just throw it on in here doesn't have to look super pretty it's just going to help us blend everything else out In with the other eye. This palette is an amazing palette. I really gotta say it's a pricey one, but it's beautiful. And it totally just screams fall to me. Okay. Now, on a different brush here, I can find what I want. This little guy, it's a Morphe, I don't know, it's just a Morphe brush. I'm going to go in with this red shade called Pangin, I think. Pangin? This one right here. And I'm just going to put that into the crease not quite as high up as I put that first shade because I still do want to be able to see that orange shade a little bit and other eye I use an extremely light hand with these shadows because they are extremely pigmented you really you don't need a lot you don't need to dig your brush into it okay I'm gonna go back in with that first Tom Ford brush in with this little bit of a darker burnt orange color called Sinai, Sinai, I don't know how to pronounce these names. And I'm just going to bring this up a bit and blend. Just want to see a bit more orange in through here. Hopefully this new light makes it easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. If you're new to my channel, I've been trying so hard to figure out some freaking lighting, so I finally just bought a nice ring light, and hopefully it will look better. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with Volcano here, this warm tone dark brown. And I'm going to stamp it into the crease. Actually, I don't want to use that brush. I'm going to use my MAC 239. Just because I want a little bit more precision. And just kind of stamping it. I'm going to drag it in through that crease a little bit.
soften the edge. And do the other eye. Again, just kind of stamping it into that outer V and then slowly starting to blend it into that crease just a bit. brush here in back with this red just to add some of that red back in here after putting that dark brown I don't want much I one dip I'm just kind of blending out both eyes with it doesn't matter. I'm just going to take this brush with nothing on it and simply blend. Just want to soften any harshness to these eyes. And this one looks a little bit darker so I'm just going to touch it up a smidge hopefully get it to match a little better sorry guys for the for the silence here at the moment all right I'm done with that part so now I want to go in with Morgana, this shade right here. It is an amazing duochrome kind of shade. It's like a corally, coppery with a gold shift. It's amazing. I'm going to put it in the center. And kind of tap it out a bit. And then with the other eye. I like using my fingers with these kinds of shadows because I don't know, it just works the best. Never have to fight with it. Don't have to really get it wet to make it intense. This little flap in this palette is pissing me off. This little thing, I might cut that out, but then I'll lose all the names. So, I don't know. Um, okay, I'm going to clean off my MAC 239 just on my little color switch here. And I need to grab my MAC Fix Plus because on a wet brush, I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is called Sundazed. And that's going to go on the inner portion of my eye. Just to blend that. I really hope this light works for you guys. I hope you can see. All right, I'm going to go in with a little detail brush. 
I'm going to take this white shade here in ice gold and I'm going to use it wet. And that is going to go into my inner corner. A little bit of fallout with that shade. But it's pretty. I'm going to take my fluffy brush and just wipe some crap away here that might have fallen. And I'm going to, if I can find my brush, go back in. I'm going to go in with this darkest brown called Igneous. And I'm going to just ever so lightly do this corner of me a little tiny bit more. <laughs> this video is almost over, guys. If you are still watching me do my makeup, <laughs> thank you. And if you're not still watching, well, whatever. You won't know what I'm saying. All right. So, what do I want? What do I want? Oh, I want a different brush is what I want. Where is... Okay. So, for my lower lash line, I'm going to go in with this red. And I'm just going to... Smudge that all the way across. And, and then I'm going to go in with this orange here. This one. The lighter one. And I'm going to also smudge that underneath the lower lash line. Again, with the blending, I'm just going to blend this line out a bit. All right. Um, it's my little brush. I'm going to use, I'm going to grab the Anastasia M Rizzy highlighter. And I'm going to do under my brow bone with it. This is an amazing highlighter. And I thought it would go good with the fallish kind of colors. You know what? I'm going to take my little tiny brush guy. I'm also going to pop this into my inner corner for a little extra, extra highlightedness. Okay, I'm going to jump off camera and do my liner and my lashes. For that, I will be using the Kat Von D in Mad Max Brown, the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On in Torch, and the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. So when I come back, this will be done. All right, I'm back and we are almost done. To highlight the rest of my face, I will also be using, again, the Anastasia M Resi Highlighter. And I'm just gonna swirl my brush. Oh, I love this palette, it looks so beautiful. And the formula is amazing.
is so pretty. I like blingy highlights, so I build that bad boy up. I think it's stunning. But also got to do my nose because I don't know about all you guys, but I don't know. I need my nose to be highlighted for some reason. And we'll throw a bit up there, a bit up there, a bit there. Keep it slow. Okay. Now, I think the last thing that I have is my lips. And I will be using the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bow and Arrow. All right, guys, and to finish it off, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Pollution Protection Setting Spray. So, hang on a second. I'm going to let this dry, and then I'll be right back to say a couple more things to you guys. Okay, guys, I'm back with the final look. Hopefully the lighting is picking up everything because I think it looks beautiful. I don't know if it will help if I turn the lighting up. If that makes it so you guys can see it a little better. Anyways, enough of staring at my face. If you like these kinds of videos, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, and if you want to be notified, hit the bell. Um, anyways, guys, it is time for me to get my little arse to work, so until next time, have a great day.